All right, everybody, I guess we're going to get started. Welcome. I'm Jim Havlin. I just uh, want to welcome you again. Good afternoon. Um, it's a privilege to welcome you to the ribbon cutting and, and grand opening of the Heritage Park. Uh, it is a beautiful amenity. Uh, as executive director of Flats Ford, I have the privilege of serving residents, businesses, industry in the Flats and in the entire Cuyahoga River Valley. And we had the opportunity to play a small role in the early planning of this great park. So I am only going to step aside right now and I'm going to introduce uh, Director Jamie DeRosa and then he will introduce Jim McKnight and Councilman McCormick. These are the ones that did the planning, the engineering, and the construction of this wonderful park. So without further ado, Director DeRosa, and welcome again. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, I really want to just thank you all for coming out here. We had a um, we had a groundbreaking where it was pouring down rain, and today we have beautiful weather. It's cold, of course, but we have beautiful weather here today. And before I hand it over to Jim McKnight, who is the the superstar that really coordinated um, this park with his staff, I do want to. Um, point out a few other city staff members that are here. We have Assistant Director um, John Laird from the Department of Public Works. We have uh, Commissioner uh, Toy Porch from also the D Department of Public Works. Um, we have Phil Kidd from uh, MoCap for Completing Green Streets. And, um, and we're happy to have you all here today. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Jim McKnight and I'd like to thank him for doing such a great job on, the, on, on this park, on the design and really getting this off the ground. We're all really excited about that. So with that, I'll hand it over to Jim. All right, thanks everybody. And thanks for coming out on a December evening. Um, this was a great um, experience to get to work on this park and um, I guess it gets to show your age when you realize that you, you were here the first time that this park was designed. So about 1980, I happened to be in the office of Banky Associates at that time and um, that one of their senior partners at uh, Tom Zarfus was designing this park at, at that point. So that park was built, what, in the early 80s and it, it certainly served its life and purpose um, over all those years, but, but was a little bit tired. So uh, as the uh, senior landscape architect in the Mayor's Office of Capital Projects, I got to start to do some sketches for how we would re-envision the park a little bit differently. And the main thing we wanted to capitalize on was this emphasis toward that fabulous skyline view, right? So, I mean, this is the ESPN uh, halftime view that you see and they've got the canned footage and hopefully they'll get some refreshed canned footage with with the new park in it now but I mean that is the view and um, so to get to work down here is a, is a great experience. The other thing we got to do was um, utilize some design guidelines that our planning department adapted last um, year in, in 2022 and that started to help to inform you know the style of of some of the furnishings and the paving materials and the style of the railings and, and boardwalks. So that this is really the first chance we got to implement those design guidelines. Um, I'd want to just call out a few folks that also helped on the design with us. Um, after I did some initial sketches, um, Mike Reeder in our office did some of the renderings and helped um, make it look a little bit more presentable with cost estimates, et cetera. To, to actually realize the funding that was needed. We spent a million dollars to renovate this park for everything you see here, the whole new boardwalk with a brand new subsurface and a new um, surface on the, the composite decking material and the, the cable railing and everything that you see, and then the new LED lighting, uh, furnishings, the shelter that we have with the swing uh, benches, and then the new plantings, which have native trees, uh, black gum, hornbeam, river birch, and uh, honey locusts are all included in the planting palette. So we turned the plans over then, that design sketching, to Benke Associates, and Marie and Andrew and Jake are here today from Benke Associates. So I really want to thank them for putting, they put all the construction drawings together, did the structural engineering for the the decking and uh, helped to guide us into 
point where we could bid the project out. Our successful contractor that built it was Shermer Construction, and Brett is here from uh, Shermer, and then Ben O'Neill is the uh, superintendent, and he's here with his daughter and wife and, and son too. Okay, I didn't see the youngster there. So, welcome, and thanks again for a great job. You guys did a fabulous job of building um, all the improvements, so we really appreciate that. Um, some of the other features that we included was, I don't know if any of you were, have been around on the flats for a long time, but at some point, a few cars went off into the river, right? So we wanted to make an improvement at this um, intersection here of Riverbed and Elm and make sure that we had a good, um, secure, we'll call it crash-proof area that becomes the entrance way to the park. So we've got curb ramps that we put in there together with the bollards and uh, signage and bike racks that can go there. And hopefully at some point we'll add a, a kiosk. This is an important stopping off point in the whole trail system throughout the flats. The towpath trail is your, where it ends across the river and we've got the trailhead uh, there at Canal Basin Park and then the trail system makes its way across Center Street Bridge and up to the Centennial Trail which leads to Wendy Park and the bridge over the railroad track. So we see this as a really important stopping point to enjoy the view, take a look at the skyline and um, take a little rest so uh, that was important uh, what else am I forgetting any got most of it I think with that I'm gonna hand it off to Ward 3 councilman Kerry McCormick and uh, thank him for all his support well good evening and thank you all so much for being here today and I this is the perfect hour to be here you get the the, the lights are starting to come up the Sun is coming down the seagulls are over the river so this is kind of the perfect time for this view, the kind of view that's captured in a lot of those national TV uh, uh, frames of Cleveland. Um, it really, really exciting day, day to be here today. It was no surprise to anybody that this park needed some love. And it's really exciting to see all of the community engagement that happened here, the design, the engineering. And what do you do with a park that is really framing the best view of the city of Cleveland? So, you know, I think that that was a really big task uh, of Jim and the entire team that designed it, but you knocked it out of the park and did a really phenomenal job. And this park, you know, what I love so much about it, it's usable, it's open to the community, and it also frames this incredible view that the neighborhood is so well known for. So it's really exciting to be here today. I also want to thank uh, John and Beth who are here today, some of our resident leaders who are very involved here in the Flats West. So thank them for coming out. Um, and the puppies, and the puppies, absolutely. Um, but really, um, some of our neighborhood residents who are really committed to the Flats West Bank. And it's really exciting to see all the progress that's going on down here. And I know that there's been a lot of pain points in here recently with the bridge and some of the infrastructure, but, uh, and I know John is, is shaking his head over there, but we're really starting to see the fruit of that labor. A center street, over 100 year old bridge, fully historically rehabilitated. Uh, center street being repaved with more plans for the infrastructure down here in the years to come. This beautiful heritage park, uh, our, our uh, well, soon to be newly named a uh, vacant building here that will be uh, renovated into really positive, exciting housing for the community. And as we look around us, seeing all this exciting events, but sometimes as a community, we there's a project here and there's a project there, but we don't take a step back and think of the totality of what's going on around us. 23 acre world-class riverfront park in Irishtown Bend that is being built, the connector to the lake uh, that has been put in, giving our folks access to the beautiful Whiskey Island, beautiful new riverfront parks, and of course, Mayor Cardenas with the Canalway joins us here today as well, working on the connection from our river all the way down to Zenith. Where is the, for, for the southern point? New Philadelphia. Um, in our beautiful Canalway Park behind us, uh, which is also, you know, capped with the Metro Park's new docks over there. So the, the totality of the access to our waterfront down here, the connectivity to really exciting green space, the connectivity to the lake is really, really awesome to see down here uh, in the Flats West and connecting all around us. So we are seeing a real renaissance of what it means to praise, connect, and access our waterfronts down here in the neighborhood and putting high quality 
infrastructure around it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to recognize uh, Mayor Bibb as well, uh, his team that's with us here today. Um, I did not design this thing, but I helped get the money to pay for it. Uh, so that's that's kind of how I fit into the situation. And part of that uh, with former Mayor Jackson and Bibb is nagging them to ensure that the line item in that capital budget was there to ensure that this park was put in place. So uh, it is not the largest uh, park in the city, but man, it is a mighty and it, exactly thank you thank you exact but it frames this gorgeous view of downtown Cleveland and connects a really really important neighborhood in the city of Cleveland our flats West Bank neighborhood and it is a part of a system of green space and connectivity that we're going to continue to see rolled out over the next three to five years to really create world-class green space for all residents to enjoy so I am so thankful for all of you who've been a part of this who showed up to our community meetings who chipped in ideas who designed it who stayed on uh, everybody to make sure this park happens and what's so exciting uh, is not only today but the many 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 days to come where people will enjoy this space so thank you so much and Jim I'm gonna kick it back to you or who am I kicking it over to that's it so congratulations the park is open Woo! Yay!